to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This is what I'll be doing today. It's Angel Eyes. I just came from the cycle here to pick some up. I'm not sure the last time the bike was actually done. And when I was riding, it was riding kind of a little warmer. And I'm hoping this might help it out. So I'm not sure what's in here. But just for a sec total call, I figured, why not? One more thing. I'm not sure if I follow it through. But I got this bag. I'm going to plan on putting this in. I'm going to put this in here like this. Sorry, guys. But, yeah. I'm going to put this in my stomach like this. I'm going to put my jacket over me. And then we're going to see if that works. Check this out. Dude. I'm going to cover myself with the jacket. Boom. Success. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Colors on a road, but I don't see anything but you. Get lost in the sound. Go back to the start. Let's go out of the dark. guys welcome back welcome back uh, we're gonna let we want I'm trying to get the bike to cool down all the way we're chilling at 180 right now you see the bike has what 3,800 miles on it I'm not sure how many I put on it maybe 300 miles or something and then we're going to take this left fairing off so I can get to the drain plug on the radiator and then we're gonna take no false alarm I'm gonna take this one so I can get to the plug and then we're going to take this right side down so I can get to the refilling thing. We're going to flush it, whatever fluid's in there, out of it. And then we're going to put some nice fresh fluid in there. We're about to take this fairing off. I didn't mention why I put the bike on the front and back stand because, of course, boom, oil. And it looked like it's coming out of, well, actually doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure it's coming out of the breather line. It was dripping out of there. So we'll have to figure out why it's doing that. Well, now we're gonna remove this lower fairing. Ready. Of course, this won't be going smooth for me. You can kind of see that it's kind of seized on. And I've been using this little pick thing and kind of scraping around it a little bit. And I'm gonna do some WT-40 in there and let it soak for a little bit and try to break it off. I try to use Allen wrench if this stuck is one of it's one of a strip. We'll try giving that a go and see if that works. Guys, this is freaking giving me heck. I freaking stripped this thing out. And I've tried everything that I can think of except there's two other things I'm gonna try. Check that out. That is clean. I just sharpened this thing up. I'm gonna try to use it as a chisel. I'm trying to see if I can screw that off that way. I'm going to easy out it, and that easy out won't work. I have epoxy to where I'm going to epoxy it on here and glue it into this hole and then let it cure and then see if it'll back it up, back it out. That's where we're at right now. Um, trying to figure out how to get this bolt out. It's taking me way longer than I thought, but I'm playing around with that. And then I showed you guys previously that it's rusting and all that crap, freaking pissing me off. Oh yeah, and this is the mess. I'm, I was hammering it. I tried different things. I tried this PB blaster. Shit didn't work. And then, yeah, I have a pink hair, 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 hair the dryer. <laughs> but I made it to where I was heating it up. I started the bike and let it warm up for a while. And I heated it up and then I've been trying different things. I started tapping it with the hammer. Everything, like everything except extracting a bolt out and the epoxy thing and then i'm about to try to see if i can hammer and get a turn but they said that it has it's with the red lock type most of these come stock but like this is like it's older and i don't see the person that had this bike previously used and having red lock tight on a freaking on a radiator bolt like drain plug but that's what we're about to see a few moments later guys i give up i've been fiddling with this thing for way too long I did the little chisel thing. It was really like a broken screwdriver. But I did that. Did that. And I was hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. Look, I'm freaking fucking this thing up. 
and I'm giving up for now. Um, I wasn't really planning on spending this much time on this. I'm pretty sure it's with red Loctite, so it needs what, 400 degrees heated and all this other stuff, which I don't feel like jacking around with right now because I don't even have a heat gun. So, and I've tried warming up the bike and then doing the heat, this the little blow dryer, and that didn't work either. So, I'm giving up on this for now. I'm about to put these plastics back on, and then we're going to move on to something else. But I will get back to this, just not right this moment because there's other things I need to do. Check that out. Here's the fluids. I need it. This is low. And this brake fluid is burnt. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to flush the brake fluid in a bike so I can um, hopefully at least get something done on this bike today. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to. Oops, I already loosened the top off on this, but I'm going to soak up some of this old fluid, brake fluid and pour in some fresh fluid. Look on the other side. I already have this done. So I'm just going to get like a bottle of water or something like that and run this hose into there. So when I bleed it out, it bleeds into there. All right, guys. Um, we just finished the back brakes. It's nice and clear. The nipple's right here. So we just open that up and then we drain it out and then we use paper towels and absorb all the fluid out of here and then pour new fluid in there. We just kept... Um, Open the nipple, kept pumping the brake until all the fluid came back out clear. So we did that. Here's the old fluid. You can see the color it is. This is the color of the new fluid. It's kind of like the lot lighter. And you kind of tell. But you can see that it got clear right there. But now we got to do the front. You can see that. It's old. Right there, that's low. So here's one nipple. The other nipple. And then the other one. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to turn you guys back on after I finish it and make sure I did everything right. But I'm just going to use paper towels and soak them up on this and soak this up. And then pour new fluid in there and just flush until it's clear. All right. We flushed everything. Flush this. Flush that. On both sides. You might be able to see all this stuff here because my son let it fall off this nipple. Right here. It went everywhere, of course. And then we're redoing the back brake, bleeding the back brake on these bikes. I know you have to take the caliper off and make sure the nipples up. So we had to pull that off. So I'm doing that. And then I bled already, got a little bit too much in here. So I was just going to use some, um, use this to soak some up. Everything's good. Brake's good. Now I'm about to install the rotor back. And I got this wrench in here somewhere where we're pumping the brakes. It won't, the um, piston won't move out and lock the brakes shut. So I just stuck a wrench in here. All right, and I'm just putting these bolts in to put this caliper back on. Like I said, on this bike, it's a little different bike that I did. To where I've done to where you have to at least take the rear caliper off. Everything else is pretty standard, like it has been on other bikes. Uh, I, need, I do need to go back and put a blue Loctite. And here's a fluid, a brake fluid we got out of there. It's uh, really dark and it's kind of two-tone, I guess, because it's got mixed with some other stuff. But And to go back at the radiator, we never got a chance to do this. But you can kind of see, I kind of beat it to hell a little bit. I was going at it pretty good. And I missed a couple times and dinged the radiator and stuff. So, like, our only options on this are going to be easy out. So easy out it and try, we can try that. So that's one, one option. Our second option is to actually heat it up and I don't have a heat gun or nothing, but um, I was thinking about just going to get a heat gun, heating it up and see if that's what's holding it. And then our other option was, is probably not the smartest, but you using a bolt and epoxy, a bolt like a, um, like a socket or something in there to where it's locked in there to where it won't, won't strip out. But like tape it off, make it look pretty and make it lock in there. And then try to back that out. And which if you guys want to see that, let me know. But honestly, I'm almost tempted to just go to the bike shop and have them 
take this out for me and put freaking water back in the system so I can flush it out myself so I don't have to pay for them to flush it. So that's probably our, our options are to, to do that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm about to put the bike back together. Thanks for checking out the channel. Thanks for checking out the vlog. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm out.